Hello class, my name is Professor G and I'm here to talk about phosphorus. Now you may be wondering what the hell is phosphorus? I'm gonna tell you. So we go from rock and soil first. And so we have our little rock and then we have sample of soil, right? So from rock and soil, we have our sedimentary eroded rock, which is this phosphorus and that. And then we also have our decomposed organic, right? Um, the organisms that have decomposed before that, you know, gross process, you don't want to get into it. Phosphorus in there. The bones and the teeth, so we have our smile, teeth in there, and then bones. It's kind of a bad picture, but you get it, you get bones there. Those, you know, decompose and you get the phosphorus out of there. So now, enough about bones and teeth. We're going to go into how they get around. And how they get around is called, can anybody guess? A water system. So we have H2O system, which is your streams, lakes, creeks, whatever you can think of where water runs down. So from there, we have our primary producers, which are called PPs. Don't laugh. Um, those PPs will absorb the phosphorus from the runoff which ah! water systems. So now, whenever we eat, we can eat too much or else we blow up and you know, it's not a good process again. Um, they take whatever they need. So we have all this phosphorus that needs to go somewhere. So what does it do? The water jumps in your water systems. So the water is, you know, we have the creeks, streams, everything you can think of that water runs. So with all this phosphorus, it gets in the water, and it goes down this creek, let's say, and we have all these PPs, our primary producers. And these primary producers need phosphorus, right? It means they need it. So they take what they need, and the rest keeps on going downstream. Now, once these PPs take what they need, they store it in their tissues. So we have pretty flower, and they store all these peas, peas, in their tissue. And what does it happen? Photosynthesis. Phosphorus is used as ATP for photosynthesis. That's where the PPs come in. Now we go from PPs, and we go to where we have an animal. Let me just try and draw an animal here. We have an animal, and these guys eat the PPs. Now, so obviously, if something eats something, they're taking in what that one thing has already eaten. So, we have our primary producer, already has phosphorus. Now, this phosphorus goes into our animal. And our animal then also uses that as ATP. Now, since we all do die, sadly, these two guys die. And they start to decompose and it just gets all, you know, gross and disgusting. Now, again, that phosphorus gets released into our soil. That's one way that phosphorus is recycled. Our second way is that it goes back into the H2O system, water systems, and it ends up in a lake, per se. And in that lake, the phosphorus cells at the very bottom and it turns into sedimentary rock. So again, it goes back to our rock that erodes over time and makes its phosphorus.